I will show you plosive removal techniques in Audacity. Of course, the best way to tackle plosives is to record without plosives. If you follow proper microphone techniques and setup, plosives should not get into a recording. However, some voices produce more plosives than others. Because plosives occur when a strong wind blows from your mouth while talking. Whatever the reason for plosive is, you will need to take care of it sometimes. I will show you three techniques to remove or reduce plosives in Audacity. If I play this audio, you will see plosive when the speaker says, important. So, I think it's important. It is the last word, listen to it again carefully. I think it's important. 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 So you listen to that plosive. Please note that plosive and clipping are not the same thing. The audio is not clipped, but a strange sound is produced due to the heavy airflow from the mouth. From the strange looking waveform, it is possible to identify the plosive only part. It is important to identify the plosive only part, otherwise you cannot remove it. That was the plosive part, because this later part has no such strange sound. Important. Important. I will now expand or zoom in on the timeline and try to pinpoint the plosive waveform. The goal is to identify the minimal part of the waveform that is causing plosive. Why the minimal part you will see a moment later. After playing around the tall peaks around this area, I believe I found the plosive part. I will zoom out to check how much of the waveform I actually have selected. So basically, it is the strange looking tall peak at the beginning of the word. I will delete this part of the waveform. Important. Looks like the plosive is gone. So, I think it's important. I think it's important. Yes, the plosive is gone, and the audio sounds much cleaner. In fact, it sounds like there is no plosive. However, there are some drawbacks to this method. It may be very time-consuming to identify such a minimal part of the waveform. As I am deleting the plosive-contained waveform, the timeline will become shorter, even by a tiny bit. In many scenarios, you may not be allowed to alter the timeline. In those cases, you cannot delete the waveform just the way I did. So though this method works, two major problems. One, it is very time consuming, and two, it alters the timeline. There are two other methods of removing the plosive. None of them will alter the timeline length. They are faster than this delete method. Problems like plosives cannot be fixed in the entire waveform with one pass. You always have to work on the plosive affected part individually. However, the next two methods will not require the selection of plosives on such a small scale. Also sometimes, the plosive may not be identifiable in the waveform as easily as this sample we worked on. Only generic plosive selection is good for those two methods. In the next two lectures, we will see how to use those alternative methods to remove plosive. If you are watching this lecture on YouTube, it is part of my advanced Audacity course. I am giving a heavy discount on the course building phase. You can pre-order this course from this Buy Me A Coffee page. You can also check the curriculum. This course will take your Audacity editing skills to a whole new level. You will be able to edit and produce professional quality voiceovers and audiobooks confidently. You will become an advanced level Audacity user to use Audacity to its full potential. If you are editing voices for voiceover demos, or YouTube or online courses, I would recommend you take this course. If you want to become a professional VO artist, I would say it is a must-have course for you. You will learn techniques like removing popping peas, or plosives, and mouth clicks. You will learn advanced EQ techniques and efficient voice processing with Audacity. You will find the link in the description. Enroll in the course and give yourself an amazing opportunity to uplift your skills.